One of the greatest things about being a backpacker is having the opportunity to try new and exotic foods from all over the world. As far as culinary culture goes, Mexico happens to be a food tourist's dream come true. With ingredients that are fresh and flavors that are spicy, we've come to Mexico to taste the heat and learn the secrets behind the savory temptation. This is the taqueria. It's uh, most of, uh, one of the most famous in Mexico because the pastor that you can see there is like a, a very popular meat in Mexico. Uh, it's like a red sauce. Uh, well, we have a, a different kinds of chilies, but uh, most popular are the green sauce, uh, red sauce, and morita or morita. Morita is the okay. name of the chili. This is this is spicy. It's kind of guacamole, but it's not w oh, yes. without avocados. But my favorite uh, thing in this place are the beans. Woo! So you can try with this. I love, I love the beans. And it's like a little spicy with little like kind of chipotle. So Ooh, they are my, my favorite. That's good. We're here at Casa Crespo with Chef Oscar, and today we're going to learn some traditions of Oaxacan cuisine. First, we take a stroll through one of Oaxaca's marketplaces to learn more about the many fresh ingredients that serve as the building blocks for traditional Mexican cuisine. Tomatoes, tomatoes are native to Mexico. Those are tomatoes? Those are tomatoes. Wow. And uh, this tomato has more acidity than the standard tomatoes we use this in salsa. We call this tomate criollo or de castilla or de riñón. We call this huitracoche and we use this in soups or in appetizers. Huitracoche. Huitracoche. This chile is native to Oaxaca. We call this chile de agua. And we use this in salsas or we stuff it to make chile rellenos. Okay. Whenever we use this chile to make chile rellenos, we soak it in vinegar or in lime juice to reduce the heat of the chile. We are buying here um, tortilla dome. And we use tortilla dough to make um, tortillas, obviously. So this is tortilla dough to make tortillas, but we also oh. use the dough to make tamales. Okay. We thicken vegetable moles and we make breakfast drinks. Okay. Drinks that we call atolls. Okay. And we use this tortilla mm -hmm. in appetizers. Mm -hmm. We top this with lard, beans, salsa and cheese. The chiles that you see here are native to Oaxaca. Okay. The first one is called Chilcostre Chile. So we use this in uh, yellow mole. And we use this in salsas. Costeño Amarillo, we use this in salsas or vegetable moles. This is the chile that we use in the black mole. This chile comes from a poblano chile. I'll show you the poblano chile. And we use this in dark moles. Okay. Ancho chile. Why do you go to the market every day? Well, it's because some of the ingredients or many of the ingredients have to be fresh. Yes. For example, if you want to do something with the squash blossoms, they have to be fresh. They cannot be frozen. Really? It's impossible to frozen. Okay. Out. And the flavor is completely different. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you are into traditional cuisine, you have to buy fresh in the market. The drinks that we see here, from the tamarind one to the end, are called aguas frescas fruit drinks. And fruit drinks are a, a mix of water, sugar, and fruits. Okay. And you can use any fruit except the ones that oxidate, like bananas or pears or apples. We don't use them in this type of drinks. And then candied fruits, fruits that we boil with sugar and cinnamon, figs and, and apples and plantains, even chickpeas. Here I go, eating a grasshopper. Mm, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. Little chipotle. There is, there is chili, yes. Mm -hmm. These tortillas are called trayudas. They have a very leathery texture. We call trayuda the tortilla, but also a dish that we make with this type of tortilla. We top it with lard, beans, salsa, and cheese. And these tortillas are called blandas. Mm -hmm. This leaf is called um, Chepil. Yeah. Chepil. Chepil. And we use this leaf to flavor rice, tamales, and soups. Mm. These flowers are from big beans. We call them flor de frijolón. 
and we use this in appetizers or in soups. This place is called Molino, and in Molino, and in here we grind all the ingredients for mole, salsas. Oh, okay. People bring their own ingredients and they grind them for you. Really? <laughs> How great is that? So I brought the boiled corn, and okay. they are going to grind it to make the tortilla dough. Oh, so we're making our own maize. We are going to make our own wow. dough. <laughs> Let's do it! In the next episode of Backpack Nomadic Cat, we'll head back to Casa Crespo, where we'll transform our fresh ingredients into a gourmet Mexican feast. For even more unique travel stories, look out for my book entitled Around the World in 80 Days. I'm Nomadic Cat. Keep traveling and be happy!